Hi! It's me again. Are you guys tired of me? Um, so, back, back at it again, another live. Um, last night was so, so, so exciting. Truly one of the best nights of my life. I put out my first song, Driver's License, which hence this cute little sign. I wonder if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Let me back this up a little more. Eee. Um, so I put out that song last night, and um, I wrote it like maybe six months ago or something. And um, I, uh, I, I always really loved it. And I, I sometimes even like listen to it like when I'm driving, haha, <laughs> because I love irony. That's not irony, that's like the opposite of irony. But um, I listen to it when I'm driving and it just really, I feel like, very clearly articulates feelings that I was feeling at that time that were sort of really messy and big in my head. And, um, and the song may feel like a lot clearer and concise and more manageable. So it's like, I don't know, I kind of listen to the song sometimes just to feel more at ease, um, which is, I think, one of the greatest parts about songwriting um, and why I love the song so much. And you know, it hit like a million streams um, maybe maybe an hour ago, and it's been out for like 12 hours. That's crazy. Um, so thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys liked it. Um, also, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Y'all sold out the merch too. We had a bunch of drivers on the street. This is a, this is a white one. I wore a black one last night in the live. This is the white one. Can you see? Um, this is the white long sleeve one. She cute. She cute. Um, and y'all sold them out last night. Y'all bought up all the driver's license merch, which is crazy. We restocked. Um, and uh, so now you can go buy stuff. And uh, I was promised that it would get to people very quickly. Um, so that's always a plus. I love giving packages, it's my favorite thing. I'm a big uh, Depop addict. I'm obsessed with Depop. Um, like, all of my clothes are from Depop. And the high of getting a package from Depop is unlike anything I've ever experienced before in my life. So maybe maybe uh, you'll have that feeling when you get your driver's license merch. And if you get some, um, tag me in it, because I would literally die uh, to see people in driver's license shirts. It would make my life. Um, I gave a couple to the cast members of High School Musical Musical the series. I say that very fast now. I had a lot of practice. Um, and uh, so some of them are wearing them today, which is really nice. They're very, very kind and supportive. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just wanted to pop on here and say hi. Sometimes the time zone is like really weird because um, the song like, came out like everywhere in the world, which is crazy, it's sort of, wow, that's like, that's a lot, um, but sometimes, you know, the time going gets messed up, so, uh, I did, I did a live last night at, like, 10 or something, um, oh, oh, yeah, 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 I, uh, um, so I said, I had an Instagram post up that was, like, I'm gonna go live and, uh, do, I'm sorry, I'm, like, literally so tired, <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night, I was so excited, and I had to work this morning, so if I'm, like, a mess, that's why, um, I, I had an Instagram post that said that I was going to go live later today um, to, again, make up for the time zone deficit, but I found out that I have to work, um, and so that, I have to do that instead, but this is what I'm doing to make up for it, and I'll be, I'll be going live a lot. I love this. It's actually really fun. I never used to kind of go live, um, like, before, but it's really fun, and it's, like, kind of fun. I, I had a couple of my friends on last night, and, um, it was literally just, like, we were, like, FaceTiming, but, like, 10,000 people were watching. It's really funny. We were just, like, goofing off, but, um, yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to go live tomorrow, but let's see. I guess I should talk about the song, um, which literally, y'all, this shit is so surreal. Um, just the support and love you guys have given it has been insane. I was so nervous to put the song out. The day of, I was like, oh my god, I was literally, I was shaking, shaking. I was on set, and I couldn't think about anything else, and I had to like do a dance on set, and I was like, oh my god, how am I going to be able to dance? This is all I can think about. I'm so scared. Um, but it turned out to be so awesome, and you guys really were just the kindest, most supportive people ever, and they're 
so many good memes. People have been sending me good memes all day. I love that shit. Um, so that that's been so so incredible. I feel so lucky, and I couldn't could not be more grateful. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna talk about the song. Um, so I wrote the song like six months ago. I was crying in the car listening to Gracie Abrams for like two hours. I literally listened to her EP probably like three times, like the whole way through. Um, I'm obsessed with her. She's so great. You need to listen to her. I was listening to all of her songs and crying driving through the suburbs. And I was like, huh, that's sort of interesting. <laughs> and so I went home and sat on my piano and was like, what's going on? Well, I got my driver's license. <laughs> so I like, sort of started from there, but it's very inspired by Gracie. Um, and I'm truly obsessed with her. I'm her biggest fan. And I think if you guys like driver's license, you'll really like her songs. She's, she's an incredible songwriter. It always feels like, I always say this whenever I'm in like meetings or something or um, like whatever, talking to producers or songwriters or whatever. I, I love how like all of her songs feel like you're like reading her diary and she kind of does that whole aesthetic thing too like she like posts pictures of her diary and stuff which is cool but it feels so personal and specific and um, I very much want my music to feel like that too so yeah and um, I actually uh, put up a video of driver's license too on Instagram and um, People really, really liked it, and I really, really liked it. Um, and the day after I posted on Instagram, I had a session with um, a producer, Dan Nigro, who's the best. Um, and I was like, hey, Dan, I know we're like working on something else, but I think I like wrote the best song I've ever written the other day. Do you want to hear it? And he's like, yeah, bitch. And so I, he didn't say that. I'm sorry. I guess that's right. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, all right. And so I played him driver's license and he's like, yep, we doing this. And he helped me um, finish it up. He's a great songwriter, great producer, could not be more grateful for him. Um, and that's what happened. And we made it and we sent it to my um, people on my label and they were like, oh my God, Olivia, this is it. This is so great. They were freaking out. And I remember I'd never like sent them a song that they were freaking out about. I was like, they're freaking out about. And I was like, ah, that's so exciting. Um, so that's the making of driver's license. I shot the uh, music video in Utah maybe like a month or two ago. And uh, we did it very safely. A uh, bulk of it was outside. Um, everyone got tested. so. No frets. Um, and uh, it was so, so cool. I worked with Matthew Dylan Cullen, who's the director, and he's amazing. And we shot it all on film, which is cool. I'm obsessed with film. Y'all, I got my first point and shoot film camera for Christmas. Shout out to Yuma and Emerson for getting me a film photo, a film camera for Christmas. Um, but we shot it all on film, and I think it turned out really beautiful. Uh, I'm, I, I got to have like a lot of creative control over it, which was really cool. I, mean, I wasn't used to that before. I, um, you know, I've been an actor forever, and like when you're an actor, you're like, you go to set and you like read the words that they like tell you to read and wear the outfit that they tell you to put on. And like that's amazing because it, I, I don't know, I love being a part of like a team and it's such a collaborative process. But the music video was the first time I really got to have full creative control over something that I was doing. Um, like film wise and that was so epic uh, so it was a dream <laughs> it was so cold though it was literally like we shot at night and it was in Utah and I was in this like little like short sleeve outfit with like jeans and it was like 20 degrees and maybe that's not so, a lot to like some of you guys but my little California girl ass was not having it um, but it turned out good it was uh, very worth it I remember listening to Bad Blood in the car and being like, you can do this, Olivia. I don't listen to Bad Blood to hype me up. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that you guys like it. It's so, so surreal. The memes are so good. Literally keep the memes coming. My mom <laughs> discovered Twitter yesterday. My mom has never been on Twitter in my life, in her life. I'm sorry, I literally cannot speak. If I sound crazy, it's because I'm running on like zero hours of sleep. 
but um, my mom discovered Twitter the other day, and she was looking at all of <laughs> the memes that you guys set, uh, made, and she was having just a ball. She's like, Olivia, what's a timeline? And I'm like, timeline's what you're looking at right now, mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was cute. Um, it was number one trending on Twitter for like a minute, which was crazy. Um, that's stupid, insane. I cannot believe how that happened. Um, but yeah, life be good. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like the song. Um, anyway, what was I saying? About the song. What else should we talk about? Um, I'm in Utah right now. I'm filming a show. Um, <coughs> excuse me, what? I'm filming High School Musical the Musical series. Which is this awesome show that I feel so lucky to be a part of. We're almost done with season two, which is so fun. Uh, I got to write a song for the show too, which is so, so, so cool. And I wrote all I want for season one, which I'm so, so, so grateful that they let me do. I feel like forever indebted to the producers that let me do that because I was literally like a 16 year old girl, I had no songwriting credits except for like posting a couple songs on my Instagram, like that's the only thing that they had of my songwriting abilities. And they were like, yo, you wanna like write this song for this episode? And I was like, hell yeah, I wanna write this song for this episode. Um, and I wrote it in a couple of days. I remember I was so stressed because it was finals week. I was like a sophomore and I was so stressed and I was like, oh my God, I did the song in my finals. But the song came first because, I don't know, I feel like it was slightly more important. I was, you know, school's very important, but um, I guess I did both. I'm like talking to myself and, oh my god, anyway. Um, <laughs> but, so I got to write that song for the show. Um, and it was like really, really well received. It was one of the first songs that went viral on TikTok, um, which is so cool. And even today, I like, I'm scrolling on my For You page and they'll be like, found a guy that told me I was a star on <laughs> TikTok, which is so cool, and people make the funniest shit to that song, so it's so fun to get to watch it. Um, but I also wrote a song for season two, which I'm so excited for you guys to hear. It's gonna come out in probably a minute. I'm not actually sure when season two is gonna come out, and I'm not gonna pretend like I know, but um, the song I wrote for season two I think is really awesome. It's a big, like, metaphor song, and I sometimes struggle in my songwriting with, like, making stuff poetic or whatever. Like, I. I'm very much like a literal, like I write like literally what's happening and that's like awesome and like driver's license is very literal, but sometimes like poetic language, which is so important to songs, can be a little bit harder for me. And so uh, with this song though, it's like an entire, like the song is like a metaphor. Um, so that was a big challenge and I actually, I, I wrote the song like in an hour, like the morning after a TMR showrunner and told me the prompts. For some reason, I went to sleep and I woke up and I'm like, you gotta write this song. And I sat down on my piano and I like wrote it like so quick. It was just one of those. It was one of those like like magic kind of songs. Like there's a couple of songs that I've written that I've just been like, like, like Taylor Swift and Elizabeth Gilbert talk about this all the time. It's like there's like an idea in the air and you're just plucking it and it's going through you and like into the world. And you're just like a vessel and that was definitely one of those songs where that was the case. So I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I don't know why I'm like enticing you guys so much. I'm like, you're never gonna hear the song. It's for like, you're gonna hear the song in like six months, but I'm gonna tell you how I made it, like with no context. <laughs> so sorry. But um Yes. I do have a tune read in like 15 minutes, so I might have to balance a little bit. But um again, I'm just so 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 thankful for all of you guys' support and um, just love for this song, which is just insane to me. Like, I don't know, just, I can't speak. No words, head empty, no thoughts, but <laughs> I just feel so grateful.